Niagara Falls is known for its impressive waterfalls, but there is more to this area than just the views. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share 20 best things to do in Niagara Falls. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, we have the Maid of the Mist or the Niagara City Cruises. Whether you are staying on the US or the Canadian side of the falls, you will be able to take a boat journey into the mist of the falls. This is one of the most exciting things to do in the area and one of the most popular. Although you don't go under the falls themselves, don't underestimate how wet you will get. Avoid bringing anything valuable that breaks when wet and make sure to use the raincoats provided. Both the US and and Canadian side offer various attraction passes that include these boat journeys. We will leave all the links to the activities mentioned in this video in the description below. Next we have Cave of the Winds. Over on the US side is the Cave of the Winds experience. This is a series of wooden walkways that take you just feet away from the Bridal Veil Falls. You will get soaked but nothing beats this up close experience in Niagara Falls. Then we have the journey behind the falls. Descend 125 feet and explore the 130 year old tunnels located in the bedrock of the falls themselves. You can feel the vibration of the horseshoe falls around you, then step out onto the observation deck to get up close to the incredible falls. Again, expect to get wet. Next we have the Niagara Falls Power Station. This is the latest attraction to open in the Niagara Falls area. Learn about the historic power plant station, see the restored artifacts and then head 180 feet underground to the long tunnel leading you to the observation deck at the river's edge. For an enjoyable ride over the rapids of Niagara River, jump on the Whirlpool Aero Car. This experience offers you incredible views of Niagara Whirlpool and the rapids, as you saw 3,500 feet across the Niagara Gorge. Originally built in the 1600s, Old Fort Niagara played a part in the American Revolution, the War of 1812 and the French and Indian War. This is one of the oldest buildings in the Great Lakes region and worth visiting whilst in the area. Looking for a thrill during your time in Niagara? We have got a few options for you. First we have the zip line to the falls. Located on the Canadian side at the Grand View Marketplace is the zip line to the falls experience. This is an exhilarating zip line ride which sees you soaring past the American Falls and finishes at the base of the Horseshoe Falls. Continue the thrill rides with a Whirlpool Jet Boat Tour. Running through warmer months of the year, the Whirlpool Jet Boat whizzes you along the Niagara River through and over the rapids. This is one of our favourite experiences in the area and a must-do attraction for those looking for a thrill. The company also offer encased boats if you'd rather avoid getting too wet. For a calmer experience along the Niagara River, why not take a stroll along the Whitewater Walk? This is a series of platforms along the edge of the river offering viewing points and photo opportunities. Included in some of the attraction passes in the area is the Niagara's Fury 4D movie. This 360 degree cinema experience takes you through some of the history of the falls, gives you an opportunity to learn more and experience the wind and mist of the falls through special effects. This is ideal for those traveling with younger children. Then we have the Butterfly Conservatory. Featuring over 2,000 beautiful butterflies, this conservatory is a garden oasis and the perfect way to escape the crowds and heat if you are visiting during the summer months. Take a stroll through the glass-enclosed Butterfly Conservatory, appreciate the beautiful creatures whilst admiring the tropical plants, delicate flowers and picturesque waterfall. You could also visit the Botanical Gardens. There are some picturesque areas here perfect for Instagram shots and the Butterfly Conservatory can be found here as well. So you can pair the two up for a calm morning or afternoon in the area. 
Over on the US side of the falls is the Niagara Falls State Park, the oldest state park in the USA. Established in 1885, this is a huge contrast to the busy Clifton Hill area on the Canadian side and makes for a lovely stroll, ideal if you are looking to dry off after one of the wet attractions. You can find some great hiking trails from here, offering amazing views of the falls and the Niagara River. After a busy day seeing the sights around the falls themselves, the fun doesn't have to stop at night. Clifton Hill is located on the Canadian side of the falls and has everything you could want. Yes, you can expect bars, restaurants and casinos here, but you could also visit the arcades, mini golf, ferris wheel, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, a haunted house and a slightly terrible wax museum. You can get the Clifton Hill Fun Pass to save money on some of the popular attractions in the area. We will leave the link in the description below. Which leads us on to our next thing to do in Niagara Falls, the Niagara Sky Wheel. The wheel offers fabulous views of the falls and the surrounding areas with small gondolas that hold up to six passengers. This is the perfect romantic experience in Niagara Falls and can be enjoyed in the day and at night. During the summer months, nothing beats the fireworks and falls light show. You could choose to take a night cruise to be closer to the firework display or save money by heading to the nearby walkways and viewpoints in the evenings to watch the falls lit up and firework display above. Looking for a romantic meal near the falls? The Skylon Tower is a must visit location during your time in Niagara Falls. Firstly, the tower features an impressive observation deck that offers 360 degree views, but you can also enjoy the revolving dining room, which of course offers amazing views along with excellent food in a modern, elegant environment. If you would rather something a little more casual, there are plenty of restaurants in the area that offers views of the falls whilst you eat. The Keg Falls View and the Watermark Falls View are both great options. Then we have Niagara on the Lake. The little town of Niagara on the Lake is a gorgeous place to explore and spend an afternoon with local restaurants, historic heritage buildings and fun stores to discover. This is a great place for families and couples. You could choose to take a horse-drawn carriage ride around the historic sites, then take a stroll down Queen Street for shopping and dining options. Niagara is also known for its wineries. You could take a tour or use taxis to hop between them, but spend time visiting at least one of the wineries in the area, sampling the flavours on offer and learning more about this wine region. A helicopter tour anywhere in the world is an exciting experience, but imagine taking a tour over the falls themselves. There are various companies that offer helicopter tours throughout the year, offering short rides above the Niagara River and over the falls, a truly breathtaking way to see the Niagara Falls. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Niagara Falls. Then to learn how to save money in Niagara Falls, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.